Hello, my name is Zinnia Parks, and my key question is how do people control their voice? My project is on singing. My project connects to creativity because I think you have to be pretty creative to be able to either write a song, sing a song, or anything like that. Hello, I made my own video, and um, I'm just going to tell you if you did too, no questions. Did you know that you could make a video by just making a slideshow and then recording your own um, audio on it? Well, that's what I did to make this video. And here are a few things that um, you might want to know before I t get into the big details of my project. Um, first, the vocal cords are located in the throat. And there's also a smaller area in the throat called the larynx, and they're also in there. They are also called vocal folds, and six, mus six distinct muscles control them. Okay, and if you look right here in this little, in a, the little yellow outline circle with the arrow pointing at it, um, and it has a little line that says vocal folds on it, those are the vocal cords or vocal folds. Um, that green kind of half square is the larynx. And also, here are a few more things you might want to know. The vocal cords are open to breathe and closed to talk. Like, if I had a balloon and I just opened the whole bottom, and it was blown up and I just opened up the whole bottom, it would be open like it was breathing. But if I pulled it tight over to the sides, but I wasn't plugging the hole, it would kind of be like it's talking. But it's not just staying in two straight lines. It's moving around and how the muscles need to go for the words you're trying to say. And something that can help you, it's kind of a warm-up, it's stretching. We stretch to get our blood pumping. Here are some pictures of me doing one of the stretches. The way I do it is I go up, as you can see in the right picture, and then I go down like in the left picture, and then I go up again, like in the right picture. Another thing that can help us is breathing. And we practice breathing to open our lungs. Okay, these are some pictures of me breathing that my mom took at my singing lesson. Um, I have my, on the le left one, I have my hands on my chest and my tummy. And I'm feeling how my um, chest and tummy go up and down. And also, in the right picture, I'm seeing how high. I noticed that when I was laying on the ground, my shoulders weren't moving up or down at all. They were just staying in one spot. And when I'm standing up, they go kind of high. And when you're singing, you're actually kind of trying for that not to happen. Okay, this is one of... This is the last um, really important warm-up that you should do, tongue twisters. We do tongue twisters to warm up our lips and tongue and vocal cords. And this is my favorite one that I was doing. It goes like this. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay, this is a song that I really like that I heard from a Christmas movie. Here it is. Grab the mistletoe, mix it up with some jingle bells. Gotta have the winter snow. Ha ha ha, the moon's so bright with me. King a star on the Christmas tree. Tied up with a perfect bow. Ha ha ha, you and I. We'll be dreaming the night by the fire. I can wait cause it's my favorite time of year. Yeah, it's almost here. Can't you see it now? It's coming, coming, coming around. Oh, it's in the air. Yeah, it's almost here. Can't you see it now? It's coming, coming, coming around. Oh.